So I want to stop there, just as a really uh, a brief introduction, and hand over to uh, Liz Street, who's with us. I think Liz is probably, probably known to a number of people on the call. Uh, she's the Clinical Director of Pharmacy and CDAO from Calderdale and Huddersfield. And um, I'll hand over to Liz. Thanks, Charles, um, and, and th thanks for inviting us today. Um, yeah, so it was just to give a bit of my take on it, really. Um, I'm sure it'll probably be a similar story to um, a lot of yourselves involved in CD management. Um, I work at Calderdale and Huddersfield Trust. I've been here four years now as the um, clinical director, and I've also got the CDAO role for the joys that brings. Um, we've, um, pre my time, we'd had a couple of CQC inspections, uh, both of which highlighted um, potential issues with CD management, documentation, the old crossings out, um, and um, looking at our CD rec order books for the nurses to order their CDs from pharmacy, um, they're supposed to be signed off by ward managers. So again, the, the CQC picked up um, similar themes that they hadn't been signed off and hadn't been authorised. Um, Theatres had perfectly aligned um, uh, bookings out and um, documented witnessing of their um, their doses they'd given and when we looked at it they were also perfectly aligned um, it started asking questions were we just signing at the end of the list and not after each patient as we'd like um, so CQC showed we've got issues we do um, buy annual uh, pharmacy CD um, audits out on all the wards um, and again it was showing us exactly the same themes and it felt a bit no matter how much we reviewed our meds policy and CD policy that was correct how much training and induction we did and revised how we did that. Um, medicines management newsletters coming out of our ears highlighting these issues, but it still wasn't making any improvements. I think COVID probably really sort of made us focus on how to do things better. Um, we knew that from red areas like our ICUs, it was not ideal bringing paperwork out of ICU to order a CD, um, carrying it many floors down to pharmacy for them once let's say carry the, the book back up. And again, the sort of IPC risks that that in, in, in involved, never mind the sort of nurse time spent physically walking up and down a, a sort of a four story hospital. Um, so it was a bit about thinking, what can we do differently? Um, I suppose my other concern is our audits themselves. I've got teams, pharmacy team members go out, audit wards, come back with lots of bits of paper that get scanned in, um, emailed off to matrons, emailed off to ward managers. I try and have a look at them. But there was sort of no, it was a very paper intense process. We're a very digitally thinking trust. We've got EPR, um, we, um, which we've got interfaces with our own pharmacy system with EPR. And it just felt like this was sort of this quite clunky paper driven system that we we're all used to and very comfortable with. But at the same time, how could we do it differently? Um, what I wanted to do is, is enable them to free up nursing time, um, avoid the crossings out in the registers that no matter for how we tried, just kept appearing. Um, and for me to have a better, with my CDAO role, to have a better oversight of um, wards and areas that um, were really sort of struggling and, and our areas of concern. Um, and if you ask me today, because um, we haven't quite gone live yet, which of my wards and areas of concern, I'd have to go through a load of paperwork to, to sort of go back and check audit results to be able to tell you that. Um, I looked at um, what was out there in terms of electronic systems um, and the, the one, the sort of ones I'd seen were um, very much community pharmacy related, which didn't solve the problems we had with um, patients bringing in their own um, patients own control drugs um, transfer between wards when patients move wards and need the drugs going with them. Um, recording part doses, um, again, it, it didn't give us that functionality from the electronic systems I saw. Illicit drugs management was another one that we needed to solve and make sure we've got a really robust solution. Um, and I guess from a nursing time saving perspective to be able to order electronically directly from the ward without having to bring bits of paper down. So we started to design our own, which was a bit of a scary world for myself, my MSO, our meds management nurse and, and, and members of the pharmacy team. Um, but interesting journey working with a software company talking about wireframes and sand pits. I thought we have a load of technical jargon, but that's nothing I think compared to Charles and the team. Um, it's been a long journey, but I think we've been trying to make sure we get all the functionality we need um, so that when the system um, is, is fully up and running, um, it, it's, it does everything we need it to do rather than trying to look for add-ons and developments in the future. Um, so we're at the exciting point now, we've done the user acceptor testing 
um, again, that the, the NSO has been integral in developing this system, um, literally testing it every step of the way. And so it's not a, a solution that was presented to us, it's one we've worked with to, to make sure it's fit for purpose. So we've got two hospitals, we're about to go live at, at Huddersfield first in pharmacy and out in one of our surgical wards, hopefully within the next week, so very exciting times, and then roll it out across the whole, um, the whole organisation. Um, so yeah, where do I want to get to with it? I want CQC to come in and love it, um, that we have no more crossings out. We've got mandatory fields to be filled in for second checks um, so they can't get missed. We can make sure in our theatres that nobody's doing it, um, but putting all the entries in all within two minutes at, after three hours of not entering a single thing in there. So we'll be able to tell that they're doing what they should be doing. Um, and again, massively because of the pressure on our nursing workforce, really freeing up their time. So it's not spent wandering around the hospital with CD books. They can um, be, be focused on looking after patients. And that's it, hopefully. Thanks. <laughs>